This past summer has been all over the place for me and I've been so out of my health routine. This video is basically a week in my life trying to get back on track for the new season. Hope you guys enjoy this long, intimate vlog. Okay guys, so we are going grocery shopping right now at the health food market store that I found because we have not had food in our fridge for so long now and I'm like, I gotta get my diet in check. I gotta get my health back on track and I'm really excited because I'm gonna start somewhat of an elimination diet. So I'm gonna try my best to cut out dairy, gluten, and eggs because my eczema it has been flaring so badly and I don't know if it's a coincidence that I haven't been that health conscious recently. So I am just gonna do a bit of an elimination diet and see how things go just because why not try everything that I can. I took like a blood sample test thingy on this app called Viome and I sent in a couple samples and what they did is they did a whole like health analysis on me and it now tells me what my superfoods are, what foods I should minimize are, and then foods I should avoid. So I'm also gonna go based off of that, but dairy, gluten, and eggs are in my do not eat category. So I feel like starting with that is a good basis. And then just kind of working with the app to avoid foods that are not good for me with my elimination on my own combined. Hopefully it's gonna help me just because I have not had a flare that has lasted this long. I just really wanna get myself back on my grind and back into my routine because that is when I feel my best. So excited to go grocery shopping. Here is my ginormous grocery haul. We went to three different places just to get stocked for the next hopefully couple of weeks, but let's get into the haul. Starting off with the meats, we just got assorted meats for dinners and everything. And then I just got this super greens mix. Got some cheddar, obviously I'm not gonna be eating this, but this is for Joel. Got some cold brew and then got some a pack of bacon. Got some kiwis, cause apparently that's one of my superfoods. So I want to make a point of eating my kiwis. And then I got some medjool dates cause these are good for making like protein balls or just like a healthy dessert. And then I got these organic gluten-free red rice, salt and vinegar chips and they look so healthy and good. And I got these chia seeds just to make like overnight oats. I got some organic extra thick rolled oats. I got some natural organic cocoa powder. And then I got some gluten-free bagels. This is from this brand that sells a whole bunch of gluten-free stuff. I got some grapes because these are supposedly one of my superfoods as well. I got some garlic powder since we just didn't have any. And then Joel got some organic cream for his coffee. I got some vegan butter. This one is actually really good because the ingredients, like there's not a lot of bullshit in the ingredients and it's made with coconut oil, which is really good. And then I got some vegan mozzarella and some vegan cream cheese. Just in case I crave something like cheesy or cream cheese, this will do the trick. And then I got some bananas just cause I always use these with peanut butter. They're good for my overnight oats. And then we got a pack of Zevias. These are really good. They're flavored with stevia. And then I want to start making like cute drinks at dinner. So I got this pure red grapefruit juice and grapefruit is actually one of my super fruits. So that's why I actually bought it. And then I just bought this sparkling water so that I can do a little bit of a drink situation here, mixing the sparkling water with the grapefruit juice. I feel like it'll be so good. So I'll let you guys know how that is, but yeah. And then I decided to try out this salad dressing brand. So we'll see how it is. Yeah, so that's a huge overview grocery haul. I'm gonna now put this away. Here is the final stocked fridge. It feels so good to have a semi-full fridge again. I missed this so much.
I'm not kidding when I say I think that was like the hardest workout ever because I haven't worked out in so long you guys Like I've been on walks and stuff, but I haven't worked out and oh my god I am actually dead especially because I was like infrared so it made it like 20 times harder <sighs> I'm just like I just want to flop down and die, but I'm gonna go home take a cold shower and I feel really good about myself that class was amazing and I actually really loved it I had nothing to be nervous about like it was so welcoming and it was so good so 10 out of 10 but I am really dead so that was like a lot harder than I expected for sure but it was still really good I actually enjoyed that and I can't wait to go every day I'm like scared to do it again tomorrow because it's really pushing myself but it's good to do things that really push yourself so happy I did it let's go home and hopefully take like a cold shower or something Hey guys, I went on a nice morning walk today and I was gonna go to a workout class but I woke up and my body felt so sore from yesterday because I did not expect the workout class to be that hard and like my butt, my legs, like everything is just super sore. So I was like, you know what, since I'm just getting back into really working out, I should probably rest today. So I just went on a morning walk instead because at least I'm getting some exercise, but it's still like really light and easy on my body. I'm definitely gonna book a class for tomorrow, but like I can barely even sit on the toilet because I'm so sore, which is so embarrassing, but it's because I haven't worked out in a while and it really feels good to be sore again. Like I love that feeling. Just wearing these pants today. When I'm around the house, I just love being in like sweatpants and these are from Brandy. They just have like an open leg at the bottom and I really like them. And then this shirt is from Aritzia. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys this cream that I ordered because I saw this TikTok about like this cream healing like eczema and I saw so many before and after pictures so I was like you know what why not give it a try it's steroid free and it's made in Australia and so I was like you know what I have nothing to lose this was like $25 I got a got it off Amazon I was originally gonna order it straight from their website but then I saw it was on Amazon so it's like may as well do that because the shipping was way faster it's called Graham's natural alternative C plus eczema and dermatitis relief and this is what it looks like but I will have a link down below I just started using it, it has like a really weird scent to it but I don't mind it because I know that it has like a lot of good natural ingredients so it doesn't matter but I applied it last night I applied it this morning and I've just been like applying it all day yesterday as well and I've been taking photos of like my neck and my flare-ups to see if this helps so yeah as you guys know I do not want to use steroid creams on my body search up topical steroid withdrawal and you'll know why so I will update you guys on this if you guys suffer from eczema if I'm being honest too like my eczema really takes a hit on my confidence levels because it's like I'm always like itchy and like like I know that I have like red patches like above my eyelids now they're starting to come back and like on my neck and I just feel very self-conscious but I'm trying to just like forget about it to manifest it away but it's really hard when like I'm itchy yesterday was actually the best day so far with my eczema so I'm hoping it just gets better but I did notice it was a little bit already worse today but it's okay I'm just trying to like manifest it away and I know so many people and probably a lot of you guys struggle with acne or whether it be eczema as well and so I feel like this is kind of similar to acne where it's like you can't really do anything about it it's just gonna come and you just have, kind of have to wait for it to go away and for the flare to you know go away so I've never really like struggled with acne but I have struggled with eczema so I feel like those kind of go hand in hand when it's like on your face and it definitely takes a hit to your confidence but i'm trying to just forget about it because the more attention i put towards it the more it's going to manifest and i believe in like your mindset is everything so i'm just not trying to think about it so hopefully that works too but yeah i'll update you guys oh i just got an amazon package i think i know what it is and i'm really excited for it so let's open it up and see if it's what i think it is So I got these two glass pink little cups. I really want to get into making overnight oats just because I feel like it's such a good, healthy, easy breakfast now that I don't have eggs in my diet. I just was looking for like the perfect containers since I don't have any mason jars right now. These are actually so cute and perfect and they come in a couple colors so I'll link them down below. They come with a spoon. I don't think I'm going to be using this because I'm going to be eating them at home. But if you want to take them and grab them for work, it literally comes with a spoon and a spoon holder where you just attach it and then you can easily take it to work or wherever you're going. I honestly have no idea 
what this is i'm just gonna ignore that <laughs> but i think i'm just gonna take hold on like this attachment off okay yeah so i just slid this attachment off so now i can just have a cuppy plane because i don't need the spoon with it but these are so perfect for overnight oats i'm obsessed with these they're just adorable i actually like this a lot more than a mason jar just because it's extra cute with the lid so while i was out shopping the other day there was this new store in the mall okay so me and joel pop in and they have a bunch of cute slides i literally was in there star staring at the wall for like 10 minutes because i couldn't decide but i ended up going with these and i'm definitely gonna go back to get more but you guys how cute are these they had so many different like fun funky ones like there was like a pretzel one and i don't know it was so cute but these are like such a cute color and such a vibe like just to wear them with pants like this and i'm actually obsessed oh my gosh i wish you can order them online but i don't know where you would get them <laughs> Hey guys, so I just went to the grocery store and I picked up a nut milk bag and almonds because I think that I have an allergy to oats and that is what is making my eczema flare. Like I have a suspicion because after drinking like a latte with oat milk in it, I get so itchy and I've also had oats the other day and the next day i had like the worst eczema flare so i'm assuming that i have some sort of allergy to oats and i was also listening to a skin doctor today and she was basically saying how oats can be like the one of the biggest trigger for eczema and like skin issues so that would make so much sense so i'm trying to cut out oats and i've only ever drinking oat milk which is funny just because i like the taste of it the best but now since i'm gonna switch to almond milk and see if it works better i decided like why not make my own like there's so many added preservatives and just like bullshit and the milks that you buy at the store like there's a million ingredients when really to make nut milk you only need three ingredients like water nuts and then a sweetener so i'm gonna make it with dates almonds and then water but you can do like honey you can do maple syrup like whatever you want to sweeten it up a little bit with or you can even add vanilla like whatever you want but yeah i'm really excited to make a homemade milk my mom used to make them all the time and they were so good and so i don't know why i never really thought of doing this like it's so easy you just have to buy the milk bag and they even sell like this thing called the almond cow where you can go buy online and you just like press the button and it makes the milk for you but i didn't want to purchase that yet i just want to make sure that like i can drink nut milk in general before purchasing that just in case i react to almonds as well but i think almonds should be fine because i had it yesterday and i was okay but yeah i'm excited to make my own little milk i'll give you guys the recipe when i get home and we'll make it together but i'm really excited and i just feel like so much healthier and yes it does take a little bit of effort like it's so worth it i feel like for your health because then you know exactly what you're putting in the milk and i just feel like since i drink like a good amount of milk because i put oat milk usually in my lattes and everything so i drink a good amount every day like in my cereal if i ever have but yeah i just feel like making this switch is gonna really benefit my body and it's just like a little step in the right direction that i can easily take so yeah i'm really excited and let's go home so we can start making it So here are the ingredients for the milk so i just soaked a cup of almonds and you're supposed to actually do this overnight in cold water but i just put hot water so it expedited the process a bit so if you're gonna do this try to do it like one cup of almonds soaked in cold water overnight and then i got three dates you can do as many as you want just depending how sweet you want your milk and then this is the bag that i'm going to strain it through but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one cup of almonds three dates and then four cups of water in the blender literally just blend that until it's all mixed together <laughs> Okay, so now I just have a bowl here and I'm gonna take this milk bag and let me rip off the tag. This is just like a normal um, milk bag, by the way. You can get them at your local grocery store probably. I'm just gonna put this kind of in the bag, in the bowl, I mean, and then just pour the milk literally just in here. So 
here's how much milk it made it made a pretty good amount and then here's what the bag looks like now because you literally have to squeeze it out but you just have to wash the bag and then there's almond pulp if you want to make like cookies with it or whatever but yeah that is the milk and i'm gonna make a matcha with it now <laughs> right now but i just thought i'd turn on the camera because i literally wouldn't vlog today because my skin flared so bad and i'm gonna show you guys a photo because as you can see we have no makeup on but like it's okay like now it's completely almost there like it's fine but look at it just earlier today look at me earlier today are you kidding and now i'm on vine like 10 out 10 12 hours later and I think what I realized is that it is from nature. I went on a nature walk last night and then my skin just completely flared. And I searched it up. Apparently there's like these allergies you can get in the late August that can like affect your skin. It's definitely what it is because it goes and comes way too fast for it to be like, I don't even know. It's like allergy eczema. And I think that is what is just layering. But I think I'm just gonna avoid going outside and see where that takes me and my skin because it's no coincidence that I went on this like hour long nature walk, like immersed in nature and my skin blew up. It's actually ridiculous, like how fast that came and went. Some people don't believe me. I'm like, yeah, like I have like really bad eczema flare ups. Then they look at my face and they're like, you look fine. But I'm like, no, like I swear like 10 hours ago, it was like really bad. But yeah, hopefully we've came to a good conclusion. Still have the eczema, so like it could flare anytime. So we're still sticking to the diet for two months. Like that's not changing. But I think I'm just not gonna go in nature anymore. Anyways, I just wanted to share that update because I wasn't feeling confident in my skin this morning and it honestly put me in like a really bad mood because I was just like, my skin was hurting and I just like didn't feel confident. I know a lot of people struggle with skin issues and I know how it feels. You know, it's not acne. It's like, you know, along the same lines where it's like it's on your face and yeah so i just thought that i'd share that because weird really weird and interesting i'm just trying to like pay attention to triggers and pay attention to what affects my skin because going forward i can like eliminate like certain things but my whole like body is super itchy and i literally think i have like skin allergies like i'm not kidding anyways i'm gonna continue flossing and go to bed but i just thought i'd give you guys an update good night So here's my new little morning setup. So now I do lemon and salt with water because I find that since I'm doing infrared workouts right now, this keeps me really, really hydrated because the salt, and apparently it's good to have salt in the morning because it like rehydrates your body and helps keep the hydration. So I put just a pinch of salt in here with lemon and it actually tastes really good. And then, so I drink this right before I drink my bone broth. This gives me energy and it's just really good for you overall. So love having this in the morning. I fill out and look at my daily planner. I actually got this recently. I stumbled upon it at Indigo and I'm obsessed with it. So I've started planning with this for the past couple weeks and I love it. I love how it's like paper. I used to plan on Notion, but honestly, like I don't like looking at a computer screen first thing in the morning. So that's why I really appreciate this so that I don't have to even open my laptop at the hour and then the five minute journal of course to do my gratitude this is the fit edition i love this one i'm gonna just do this while i sip on my morning drinks and for reference it is currently 8 11 and i have a workout class at 9 30 so i woke up at around like 7 15 7 30 today but yeah my little setup
so i just got to the workout class i'm gonna go in in literally a minute because i'm kind of running a little late but i'm so excited for today's class my knee does hurt a little bit but i think i'll be fine if i just like avoid it i'm going to oxygen yoga and fitness again and i'm doing a it's called 15 times 4 class so it's like 15 minutes of legs 15 minutes of arms like i think that's what it is but i'll let you guys know the class that i did yesterday absolutely like killed me like it was the hardest class of my life and i died but but rejuvenated now and i've been such on a good like workout routine it's been making me feel amazing and on top of the world and so happy and my mental health is thriving and doing the best it's ever been and i honestly credit that to like being in my routine and working out and like staying consistent but anyways let's go in let's do this class because i know it's going to feel so good when it's done and like doing a workout class really motivates you because you have to be there at a time you're working out with other people holding you accountable it's so motivating rather than just going to the gym for me personally let's go work out and get this day started just come outside for the night yeah. take your time get your life driving to get my nails done right now i'm honestly so late actually not that late i'll be like a couple minutes late but i like to be early for things in my head and then i actually like procrastinate like i didn't wake up late today i woke up on time but i was just like taking time doing my morning routine and i didn't even notice a time pass and i'm like oh, i'll have enough time and i didn't even have enough time to make myself like a matcha or anything so that i wanted to bring something but, i mean that's literally all my fault i cannot blame this on anything else but myself for not making enough time but i literally suck at time managing when i have to get ready to go and leave the house like i want to be and i would like to be somebody who is early for everything and i am usually but there's just some things where I just I'm late for and I rush I'm like never like super late like I'm never that person to be like a million years late but I'm always that person who's like rushing here's the before of my nails as you can see they're just like really grown out and I think I'm gonna get the exact same thing but like light pink so yeah this is the before <laughs> I just got my nails done they look so cute i don't even think you could barely tell that they're light pink i don't think i chose a pink enough pink but like you can kind of tell in certain lighting is that they're really they're just like super super light pink okay you literally cannot even see that they're pink but i promise you in that salon lighting they looked pink now they just don't look pink anymore what the heck they literally look the same they look white but it's okay i love them either way and it's very subtle which is nice but i swear to you in that lighting they were so pink like light pink like you could tell that they were pink anyways <laughs> whatever i still love them good morning you guys it is currently six 45 around i was very bold last night to book myself this 7 a.m workout class because i went to bed like at 11 so i only got seven hours of sleep and i thrive off of my sleep so i like need at least eight but i was very bold last night and i really regretted this decision when i woke up in the morning but you know what i know that i won't regret it when i'm done the class so there's that and i know i'm gonna thank myself for doing this because i was gonna miss today's workout altogether, just because i have a really really busy day because we're leaving for joel's cabin tomorrow morning and i have to pack i have to meal prep because since i am eliminating like gluten and dairy for two months just to see how my skin does i need a meal prep because i'm obviously not going to make joel's family cook those specific things for me or buy those specific things for me like this is on me so i need a meal prep today and then i have talia's birthday tonight so we're going out downtown and i have to be there at 5 30 and i have to shower do my hair like 
a whole shebang i have to pack like there's just so much i have to do today i also have to finish a video finish thumbnail and it's just a very busy day so i was like you know what i'm gonna book myself a 7 a.m workout class because then i can get it over with and i also need to go grocery shopping so there's like so much i need to do so after this class i'm gonna go grocery shopping right away and then after i go grocery shopping gonna go home breakfast meal prep start the meal prep and whatever so I just feel like so hectic because I have so much to do today, but hopefully it'll all get done and we can leave like a little bit later tomorrow morning if need be, so it's okay. But I'm going to go in to the workout class. Wish me luck because I'm honestly really tired right now, but I'm just like really proud of myself for actually waking up. I'm telling you, workout classes hold you accountable. I'm just at oxygen and yoga and fitness again today. We're going to do a heated class and sweat my booty off, so let's go. It's now almost 3 30 and i decided to start getting ready for talia's birthday outing right now just because i know myself and i am going to rush if i leave it till last minute if i give myself an hour i'm still gonna be rushing so i decided to give myself over an hour to get ready just so that Hopefully, I don't have to rush this way because I still don't know what I'm wearing. I don't really like going out, if I'm honest. Don't get me wrong, now and then in a blue moon, I don't mind a little visit to the club. But I'd just rather be home on a Friday night watching Netflix. Like, I'm just such a homebody. Not to say, like, obviously I'm so excited for her birthday, like, it's gonna be fun. But that's why I haven't been out in so long, just because I am such a homebody. Like, it's ridiculous. And so is Joel, and we just, like, feed off of each other that way. But this is the most healthy way. We're, like, truly happy we're just like both homebodies and it's pretty funny because we just love a good friday night and spending it together that way but i've been meal prepping all day long like the whole reason why i went to the early workout was because i needed to meal prep today i didn't even get around to packing and i still have just like a couple things to do like i need to make my homemade almond milk tomorrow morning just because i'm really trying to just eat whole foods stay away from like all those additives fillers and stuff like that so i'm gonna make homemade almond milk to bring i know it's like so excessive and i I am just so determined to stick on this diet for two months to hopefully heal my skin i think we're gonna leave the house tomorrow at about like 10 30 probably so we're actually only going to joel's cabin for three nights but i'm so excited because it's just gonna be like a little getaway and it's so relaxing there by the lake and i'm just gonna bring a book i'm not gonna vlog I'll probably take some like cute videos on my phone and some photos but i definitely don't want to be vlogging first of all i don't like really vlogging in front of other people second of all i just feel like i really want to take it off and just relax and like fully immerse myself so that's the plan for this weekend we're staying there until tuesday but there's like a bunch of fires right now happening in like the interior of bc like forest fires where we're going it seems fine because we're not like going too far in but it's pretty scary like people have had to evacuate in like Kelowna and stuff it's like this time of year it's so sad because BC gets so many forest fires and like Maui was just on fire and everywhere is just literally on fire like I don't get me wrong like I love the summer but I just hate how there's always forest fires here and it's so sad because like how many trees and animals it kills the drive up to his cabin is about like three and a half four hours so it's not like horrible it's always such like a fun road trip vibe though I ordered this bag the weekender bag from Bay Bay's like Shane Mitchell's brands and it's my first purchase from them and it's supposed to come in yesterday it was supposed to come in yesterday but it hasn't come in yet and I didn't like order it specifically for this trip but I just needed like a good tote bag to like bring places and I was hoping it would come in because it said three to five business days and it's already been five days and I'm just like here waiting for it so if that comes in the mail tonight that will be a miracle <laughs> I literally just like held the cur curler with my finger. Like you're done. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I've done this before. Oh, I could have been worse though. It's okay. Okay, guys. Final outfit. Surprise, surprise. I am literally in a rush. Let me place 
see like right here. This is my outfit. My top is from um, White Fox. This is from Evolve, my skirt. And then my boots are from Call It Spring. And I gotta go, so. Okay, bye. so me and joel just got back from the trip and it was so good to be honest like it was so relaxing and i'm really tired right now because the drive but i just feel like really zen and relaxed and i'm just gonna have kind of a self-care night tonight take a shower and do all of that i just kind of cleaned everything put everything back in the fridge gonna put the dishwasher on just because i had like a lot of containers and stuff that i brought and food but we're getting there but anyways i just wanted to open the base package with you guys because i told you guys that i ordered the tote bag from base and it didn't come in time but i wanted it anyways so i just thought i would open it with you guys since it was at my doorstep when i got home first impressions this is the packaging pretty cute here is the bag. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? Look at it. So this is the full size weekender bag and I got it in the color. I think it's called like Atlas Pink or something. But now like holding it, I honestly love the size and this would fit so nicely over a carry-on. Ah, it's so cute. This is definitely like a travel tote bag though. Like this can't really be used as an everyday tote bag. Like it's a bit big for that. And there's just like so much room. Like this whole bottom part is like a huge compartment for like shoes or whatever you want to put in there. But I'm going to Montreal in the fall. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this there as like my carry-on because I'm going to be packing really light. Oh wow, it literally opens like a square, which is so nice. It has a laptop pocket. There's a zipper in here with like other pockets. This is actually really, really nice. It comes with a key leash as well, which is really nice. And it also comes with a like a strap if you want to put it around your body. But I just love the way how this opens and it's so organized and it's so cute. Like this is it on my shoulder, but I would definitely put it like over carry on. But ooh, I'm not sure if this would fit underneath like a seat on the plane that is kind of pushing it but this is definitely perfect for like a little weekend or whatever away and i don't have a bag like this just to pack for a weekend away so i'm definitely gonna be using this so much i feel like i'm obsessed and the quality feels really nice i think it was like 160 dollars including everything shipping and stuff so it wasn't too bad and yeah this is like the luggage pass through that doubles as a pocket where you can put it over your luggage which is super nice but yeah love it so cute 